Hey y'all, it's Malika. Excuse my appearance, but as you can see, just keep watching and you'll see what's going on. So it has been quite a while since we've had one of those. Actually, since last year, we've had a little rain. Well, one day last week and then maybe five drops a week or two before that, but this is the first time we've had this since last year. And I'm just making this video basically because I just need to talk about it, right? And in talk about it, what I mean is I need to talk about my fear, okay? Um, I have an intense fear of thunder and lightning. And it's not necessarily that, but it's the huge booms of thunder and the super bright lightning that comes before it. I don't know what this came from. I can't remember if I was this afraid of thunder and lightning when I was younger, but I definitely know as an adult, I'm terrified. Now, I don't know how to get over this. You know, thunder is a noise, so there's really no reason why I should be that afraid of thunder. It's the lightning that you have to fear. And I don't like that either, but I really think it's the thunder that I'm afraid of. So maybe it's a sensory thing because um, of the loud noise, right? But let me, tell you, let me tell you some funny stories, okay? Okay, so let me say first that sometimes a great form of therapy is to purge, to get out in the form of talking about what's bothering you or what's a problem for you. That's the, like one of the first steps. That's recognizing the problem. Secondly, I'm blaming my grandmother for this. So I was raised by my grandparents and when we would have storms, and I mean typically like in the afternoon, early evening, we would have to unplug everything and go sit in the living room, me, my grandmother, my grandfather, and be quiet while the storm was going on. Why? I don't know. Like, I couldn't be in my room playing or in another room playing. She wouldn't be in the kitchen moving around, doing things, or in another room. Everybody would gather in the living room and we would sit quietly while it was a storm. In my opinion, re, you know, just evaluating that, that reinforced the idea in my mind that storms are something I don't necessarily want to say to be afraid of. She never told me to be afraid, but just different, I guess, in a way, or different than, you know, you can't function normally when it's a storm, right? You got to do different stuff. She never would explain it to me because I would ask, like, why we got to be quiet? And she would never say anything. She would just tell me to read a book or play with my toys and be quiet. Just sit there. Storm was over. We get up and move around like the rest of the day, you know. It was, okay, time to move. I can't remember being this terrified of thunder and lightning as a child, even though... You know, we had to do whatever we did, but I don't necessarily think I was afraid. But now, totally, like, on edge, nervous, afraid. So, I noticed that this started to be a problem. I was living in Florida, and I went to this little uh, Caribbean grocery store. And I pulled up in the parking lot and it started to rain, some lightning. I don't like to drive when it's lightning and thunder. I will close my eyes, um, duck all down in the seat, uh, scooch, scooch down in the seat. Um, and I don't like to get out the car. The doors to this store were like those heavy, thick plastic doors that you might find going into like a cold meat cooler or something that are 
the plastic slits that you, you know, that swing back and forth, different slits of plastic, like uh, vertical blinds or something, big heavy plastic. So I told myself, after the next bolt of lightning, I'm going to get out and run to the door. That way, maybe I'll get inside before the next bolt of lightning. So I did. And as soon as I got to that plastic door, the biggest bolt of lightning and the biggest boom of thunder, I slapped all that plastic and bolted in that door, screaming bloody murder. Everybody, I looked around and everybody in the store was just standing there staring at me. Like, what the hell is wrong with her? And they realized it was because of that thunder and they just bust, everybody was laughing. That kind of made me feel better because they were laughing. So I could laugh too. Made a fool out of myself, but I'm all right. I didn't think too much of that. And then the next occurrence was a little worse. And it's been going downhill ever since. I was sitting in my office preparing actually to move to Thailand and I was going through some paperwork and I had got rid of most of the furniture in there. So I was sitting in the office chair and there was nothing in front of me. Um, it was just, you know, the floor and I had papers all over the floor. And it was a storm and it was the biggest boom of thunder and the crack of lightning again. And the next thing I know, involuntarily, because I didn't do it on purpose, I swear I didn't, my brain told my body to hit the dirt. And I physically dove out of that chair. Imagine a war movie and somebody throws a grenade and all of the soldiers just face plant and dive and duck for cover and hit the dirt, and that's exactly what I did. I dove out of that chair and hit the floor like a ton of bricks. Flat down on my face, on my chest, I almost knocked the wind out of myself. I hit so hard because I'm telling you, I didn't ease myself to the floor. I dove out of the chair and in full transparency, at that time, I had implants. And I'm thinking to myself, please tell me I did not bust my implants. <laughs> I don't have them anymore, but yeah. So then I kind of realized something ain't right about this. You can't do that. What is the problem? How did that happen? I didn't do it on purpose, right? <clears throat> but still, once again, I did not think to follow through and talk to anybody about it or um, get any help, any therapy, or tell some doctor that I got a phobia against thunder and lightning. I didn't think about that. Now, <clears throat> I've always had dogs for the most part, and my one dog I had a big standard poodle and we used to sit in the chair together and just snuggle so he was my comfort my you know some somebody that I could or something that I could look to for I don't know comfort like I said and then my little shih tzu before I moved to Thailand she wasn't afraid of thunder and lightning when I first got her. She starts seeing me react negatively <clears throat> to thunder and lightning. So then all of a sudden she's scared of thunder and lightning. And it's funny because I told her, you know, we talked to dogs, right? I said, you wasn't scared of thunder and lightning until you see me scared of it. Don't, don't, be, don't act like that. But then when it was thunder and lightning, she always wanted to get in my lap and, you know, act like she was so afraid and start shaking and stuff. So, you know, we go somewhere and we cuddle together until the storm was over. So fast forward to Merida. 
And last year, I'm in the kitchen or dining area. I'm at the table. I always sit in the chair that faces the backyard, looking out over the pool. And behind the house is nothing but woods. I saw a lightning bolt, cloud to ground lightning. That boat was so fat, it came out of the sky and landed in the woods behind my house. And the boom of thunder shook this house like it was a smoothie. <laughs> it just shook it up. I turned sideways in that chair. Once again, all of this happened before I even realized what was happening. I was on the floor. But what I noticed was I was on the floor in pain. I was like, oops, I messed up. I thought I broke my hip. Because these floors are ceramic tile or porcelain or whatever. And like I said, before I know it, I'm on the floor, but I'm laying there now, I'm in pain. And I mean, a lot. I had to lay there to get my composure, to try to let that pain subside a little bit before I can even try to get off the floor. And then when I finally got up, I was kind of hurting to walk. And probably a week or two, I was very, very sore. I couldn't even sleep on that side. And it kind of disturbed me. I, I said to myself, Malika, you can't do this. You're gonna hurt yourself. You gotta figure this out. You gotta get, you gotta figure out what the problem is and how to get over this. So, but I didn't. I left it as that. <clears throat> so, fast forward to tonight. I am sitting in the house. The storm starts to ramp up, the power is going on and off, maybe eight, nine times. I'm on the phone messaging back and forth with somebody about the storm, about the power, and then whatever we were talking about. And I'm sitting on the bed. No, first I'm downstairs, and then it got started to get worse. I said, let me go upstairs. So I'm sitting on the bed. The next thing I know, ginormous bolt of lightning. There's one, two, three, four windows surrounding me so that bolt of lightning lit it up in here like it was Christmas and the boom of thunder guess where I was at on the floor I knew enough even though the response was like almost involuntary like my body just automatically knew get down kind of tried to catch myself so that I wouldn't throw myself on the floor and I slid off the bed and I sat on the floor now had the storm got any worse I probably would have got under the bed I can't do this I can't do this I'm afraid that if I'm out in public what am I do throw myself on the ground I gotta figure this out. I don't think it's the storm. I think it's the thunder. I don't like lightning, but I, that is a light, and I can I, I find myself ducking and. But it's the thunder that does it. I can't stand that noise. That. That loud noise like that scares me to no end. I don't like having these fears because I don't like to live my life in fear of anything. I don't know what to do. I'm making this video to purge. Maybe somebody else is going through some fears in their life that they're trying to overcome. It could be fear of leaving the U.S. and moving to a foreign country. Leaving your support system. 
leaving your place of employment, leaving your place of stability and comfortable, comforter, I was going to say comfortability, that's not a word, you know what I mean, but anywho, that's all I wanted, I just wanted to talk about this, the storm is over, hopefully don't start up again, and I don't want to. I don't want to sleep on the floor under the bed. I don't want to do it. But, um, yeah, y'all. I just, I know this is different video than stuff that I usually make, but I needed to get that out. And just tell you that don't be afraid to be honest about things that you're afraid of. And to talk about it. Um, it helps a little bit. I probably won't stop it. Probably need a little bit more than that. But um, at least, you know, I'm able to talk about it. And I recognize that something needs to be done. So, yeah, until we meet again, I'll be leaving soon. Keep moving. Bye, y'all.